Ever since the first annual Wing Global Conference held in 1993, we've never missed a single one. These events gave us an opportunity to see and be seen in the international nuclear community. This photo was taken at the 6th Annual Wind Global Conference in Taipei 1998. It was the very first time it was ever held outside Europe and a significant milestone for the globalization of wind. We gathered the female members in the Zhonghua Nuclear Society to form a women's branch and presented ourselves at the Win Taiwan chapter in Bonn, Germany in 1994. Back then there were only 20 members, and now we have well over 100. I was deeply impressed at the WIND meetings or conferences, participants share experiences and discuss issues just like any other similar conference. But the atmosphere is very different. When all the participants are women, you can feel the warmth and passion in the air, which is so enjoyable, and it's totally different from the cold regulatory meetings I usually attend. In graduate school, I experienced gender inequality. When I look back, my reactions to the unfairness was due to the culture of male superiority. Back then, it seemed natural to tolerate unfairness from male superiors. In our department, we have a total of 51 people, but only four are women, and this is record high. For a long period of time here, there were actually only, including me, two women. In 1993, at the first annual Wind Global Conference in Paris, I met a female nuclear power plant manager for the first time. In 1995, touring a Swedish nuclear plant after a conference, I noticed the person making introductions was a female engineer, and a young man was serving refreshments. Gender stereotyping of careers was being challenged right on the spot. To me, it was an eye-opening experience. We conduct licensing reviews and facility oversight at nuclear plants. International exchange is important, so are there challenges? Of course. When global conferences allow me to meet so many female professionals in the nuclear field, I was overwhelmed by their high level of confidence and eagerness to take initiative and serve. I consider myself self-confident and self-motivated in the workplace, but with the inspiration and stimulation from these powerful women, I think there's still more room for me to grow. Every time I attended WIN activities, I felt inspired and lifted by those female forerunners from Taiwan and abroad. I always came back to work with more passion and enthusiasm. Over the past 20 years, I served a total of 12 years as WIN Global Executive and got to work closely with all WIN Global Presidents. In 2016, at the Abu Dhabi Annual WIN Global Conference, I was surprised to be nominated and so grateful to receive this WIN Honorary Award for dedication to WIN development. I truly believe this was in recognition of all Taiwan WIN Global members and not just me. Women in Arabic countries are somewhat restricted. My experience was rather encouraging. Many nuclear professionals and students from UAE and neighboring countries take an active role and perform brilliantly at conferences. Hosting international conferences allows women to be better recognized at home and abroad. When Global was founded by women working in the nuclear field to exchange information on nuclear and radiation applications and safety measures to ensure the protection of the public and the environment. But why women? Because women tend to care more about future generations, be more environmentally conscious, and have better communication skills. When members have other roles to play in life, such as mother, I think women tend to bring in the passion which makes cold, hard knowledge become warm and very relevant. It's been very inspiring for female STEM professionals to have three female scientists become Nobel laureates this year. Marie Curie was my role model, but now girls have more role models to follow. As more and more gender issues have been discussed in the global nuclear community in recent years, People have begun to recognize the importance of including women in not only technical, but decision-making levels. This should bring about better opportunities for women to grow in this field. My female colleagues perform equally well, if not better, than their male counterparts. Women shouldn't shy away from science and engineering careers. If you're interested in this field, 
Just be brave and go for it. Nuclear or any STEM field doesn't belong to any gender. The knowledge itself is open to anyone to pursue. 